Greetings, everybody. It's your old pal Frank here, and happy Monday. Hope everyone had a great weekend. I know I did. Saturday, I decided to dust off the old Nintendo Switch and really get back into the feel of playing Pokemon again just because um, within the next week or two, uh, the new uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes come out. So I will definitely be playing one of those. I'm probably going to be getting the uh, Pearl remake because I've always been a fan of Palkia over Dialga. I know this is probably going over a lot of people's heads, but for those of you who are familiar with Pokemon, you know what I'm talking about. Then uh, Sunday was fun because I did something that I rarely do, and that's watch some NFL football. Yeah, I, I, I do like NFL football. Mind you, I'm more of a CFL guy, but every now and then there is a game that'll come on and I'll be like, ooh, I gotta watch that. And me being, brace yourselves, a Green Bay Packers fan. <laughs> uh, yesterday, they, they were taking on Patty Mahomes and the boys from Kansas City, and I had to watch. Now, mind you, Green Bay was playing without Aaron Rodgers for reasons we will not go into. But they had, uh, what's his name, Jordan Love, or is it Justin Love, whatever, playing playing in yesterday's game, and I think he did okay. You know, mind you, Green Bay did lose, but I'm not too upset about it because I'm sure a lot of people were expecting it to be a blowout loss, but instead the final score was only 13 to 7, so can't complain there. And, and Green Bay's defense, man, they were clicking. I mean, Kansas City only managed, what, 237 yards? And I think that's the lowest they've ever managed since... Patty Mahomes became a starting quarterback, so I'm not complaining. So maybe the facts are a little bit off. Don't don't quote me to it, but uh, hey, I, I think Green Bay still played pretty good yesterday. Anyway, I'm sure you guys want to know what we're doing in today's video and not hear me ramble about football and whatnot. Well, maybe some of you do because I know there's a lot of football fans out there. Anyway, so today is going to be a mix of everything just because as you know at the end of this week I'm heading to the expo in Toronto so my head is all over the place I'm super excited I can't believe it's at the end of the week <clears throat> now I know how people feel when they go to the national <laughs> but uh, in today's video we're gonna keep it simple yes we're gonna open five packs of Tim Hortons cards we're going to open five wax packs of Series 8 Garbage Pail Kids cards. Yeah, look forward to that. And I even have a one-card package that I got uh, last week that I really can't wait to show you what it is. So that's what we'll be doing today. Before we do, I want to show you some stuff that I've picked up recently that you know I don't always do a video for including this uh, one pack of Tim Hortons cards I bought yesterday coming home from my walk. Stopped in for a coffee, picked up a pack of cards, ended up pulling a D-Boss Dylan Larkin base, a Kale McCarr promotion, and I finally got the man himself, Mr. Tim Horton, in base form. So I'm still hunting his red die cut. Then I got a package uh, from NHL underscore cards with a Z on Instagram. Uh, he was selling some stuff. He had a bunch of canvas cards I needed and a Patrick Waugh card I needed for my PC. So uh, we got a bunch of 1516 canvas cards like this Marion Hosa, this sweet Nuge, Ryan Nugent Hopkins canvas. And you could tell that's uh, an Oilers home game because he's stepping onto the ice through the giant oil rig Derek thing. You know, they do that at all their home games, just like, uh, well, I don't know if they're still doing it now. But I mean, you know, like San Jose does with the giant shark head and what uh, I believe Detroit used to do with the giant octopus. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And we got this Lars Eller when he was still with the Habs. And we got Evgeny Kuznetsov. And then we got a newer one of Tanner Pearson. 
And as I said, there was a Patrick Waugh card I needed for my PC. And this card comes from 2019 Upper Deck Singles Day. And it's a Patrick Waugh Winter card. So, that's pretty cool. Then, uh, also I'm assuming from Instagram, although I forget who I got these from. Uh, I got two more 0809 Future Watch Autos for my set. So we have Robbie Earl, and we got Victor Tikhonov. So I will be hunting down more of these come this weekend at the Expo. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. And then a follower of mine on Twitter by the name of at underscore Ally Awesome sent me a nice chunk of more modern Garbage Pail Kids cards. So we have everything from making fun of Lucky from Lucky Charms and the Tricks Rabbit to various versions of Adam Bomb. We got Joe Blow. <laughs> Pete Seat. <laughs> There's another Pete Seat. You know, we've got a bunch of... This is one of my favorite ones, Sightseeing Sam, because that's a play on Quantum Leap. And I absolutely adore adored that show and anytime there's a rerun of it on tv you bet your butt i'm watching it because i just loved that show when i was in elementary school i used to come home for lunch because i used to live like practically across the street from my school and at lunchtime uh for for the canadian folks out there if you remember the channel bravo um they used to show reruns of Quantum Leap on there at noon. They used to do back-to-back. -back. They'd show two episodes. And I would watch both, finish my lunch, and... Uh, how about that? A. Isaac as a A.I. And, uh, yeah, I used to watch both episodes, and uh, I'd be back on my way to school. It was It was heaven. And out of all these Garbage Pail Kids cards Ali sent me, my favorite one has to be this one right here. Uh, I am a huge Elvis fan, and when I saw this, I was just like, oh, that is awesome. We got a Jailhouse Rick. That's, of course, a play on Jailhouse Rock. And, uh, yeah, friggin' awesome, man. So, big shout out to Ali. Uh, I will post a link in the description below to her Twitter page. If you guys want to go check it out. Uh, she she more retweets a lot of stuff. Of uh, you know card sales and whatnot. But hey. If you're always looking to buy like vintage cards. And cards in general. Check out her page. Because she is retweeting like everything. So there's something for everyone to check out. So anyway. Um, you know what let's. Let's bust into the Tim Horton stuff first, because since those are only three cards a pack, those will be a little easier to get out of the way. So again, we're still looking for the 1 in 24 pack Hockey Hero cards. Those are the real fetch of the set. Uh, red die cuts, of course. Hey, there's a stud right there, Mr. Bowen Byram. And then we got a photo finish of Yol Kiviranta. And we got the grade 8, Alex Ovechkin. Next pack. We have Charlie McAvoy. <laughs> the Rat, Brad Marchand. And Mr. Austin Matthews. I was actually watching a video this morning here on YouTube. And Brad Marchand is not the OG rat. Uh, there was a player back in the day by the name of Kenny Linsman. Who got the moniker the rat and... Man, this guy was no joke. He was a bad dude. <laughs> All right, we got Gabe Velarde, Thomas Shabbat, Red Die Cut, and Anthony Mantha. And I still say it's weird seeing Anthony Mantha in a Capitals uniform 
instead of a uh, Detroit uniform. <laughs> All right, two packs left of Timmy's for this video, that is. All right, what do we got? Johnny T, John Tavares, and we got a Patrice Bergeron canvas, and a Nikolai Ellers. All right, last pack. Hoping for a hockey hero, maybe a promotion. We'll see. Oh, I think we got a promotion. <laughs> you can tell by the top of the card. All right, but which one? We have Jacob Markstrom and our promotion. It's it's oh Joel Faraby. Okay, not bad. And we got Andre Svechnikov, who's young and I still need, but it's like a seventy dollar card, <laughs> and I'm not ready to spend that much yet. Anyway, so that's the Tim Horton segment of our episode. <laughs> now. As I'm sure you've noticed, I haven't put up a, a good luck charm yet. That's because I was holding off till we open our, our Garbage Pail Kids cards. And I'm going to put up this super ironic card from Series 8. And it's none other than Karina Corona. I don't know, really pushing the envelope there. <coughs> By saying that C word. But, um, eh, what the heck. I don't monetize my videos, so screw it. All right. First wax pack. No, we're not eating the gum because that is disgusting. Although, I don't know how Slap Nuts did it for all those videos opening that all those packs of 1990 Opeachy. But, anyway. So, we kick things off with Artificial Mitchell. I think that looks pretty cool, actually. Grainy Janie. <laughs> Luke at me. <laughs> Mike Strike. Ouch. <laughs> and <you laughs> Yule Tide. I'm going to have to put that up in the background come Christmas time when I do Christmas videos. That's That's awesome. <laughs> Yule Tide. <laughs> Alright, next one. And actually, when it comes to Series 8, there's still a, a couple... Oh, come on. There's still a couple cards from this set that I'm looking for. And I'll, I'll tell you in a moment, just after I get these cards out. Oh, we got some wax damage. No, oh, no, oh, no, oh, we're good, we're good. All right, we got bow and arrow, interstellar. And we got a double of Mike Strike, <laughs> exploring Norman, and shifting Sandy. So the cards I'm still looking for in Series Eight are Buck Puck figures, hockey-related card, uh, Stu Spew. And either Ashley to Ashes or Dustin to Dust, which I believe is the last card in the Series 8 set. So, yeah. All right. This one opened nicely. No ripping. So I think, I think I'm going to save this wrapper. I know a lot of people who open the, the old school GPK packs, they save a wrapper. Oh, ooh, look at the gum. Ugh. Oh, look at the damage on that. Oh, my God. Ugh. That is rough. That's Smokey Joe. Obviously, the play, the reverse of that one. Walter Sport. Burning Vernon. Hey, there we go. Dust into dust. All right, we got one we were looking for. And we got Interstellar again. Oh, man, that's Smokey Joe. Oh, that is sad. Uh, hoping to pull another one, at least. So we could uh, get some redemption on that card. So, that will go there. Look at, look, 
Look at the look at the gum. Oh god. I am not ingesting that. No way. <laughs> Alright. Two more packs to open. Now oh, I'm hoping for another Smoky Joe then. <laughs> Alright. What do we got? We got a Danglen. Yeah, with some gum damage on there. Gazund Heidi. <laughs> Leftover Grover, Smellin' Helen, and Coat Rack Zack. <laughs> oh man, I love I love these these old Garbage Pail Kids cards. They crack me up. <laughs> All right, last pack, folks, for this video. Let's see what we get. Oh, this one opened nice too. All right. Oh, more, more gum staining. Jeez Louise. These must have been sitting around for a while before even I bought them. I got Shiftin Sandy, Yuletide once again, Charlie Horse, sweet, Pumpin' Aaron, and Paige Cage. All right. So that's, that's our GPK goodness for today. And now... The one card pack I have here. And before we get to it, I gotta show you some Jose Canseco cards I have. This this goes with the card that I'm about to show you. So I got his 89 Opeachy. I got this sweet 96 Metal Universe. I got his 90 score, his 91 Don Russ. And this is a 92 Don Russ from McDonald's. It's an MVP. But there's one Jose Canseco card I find everyone needs in their collection. That's this one right here. Let's get into this envelope here. Oh, yes. It is none other than his 2002 Tops Montreal Expos card. <laughs> yeah. And the funny thing is, Canseco never played a game with the Expos, but he got a card in their set. Uh, basically... Uh, I think he played in some spring training games, and then when it came time for the regular season to start, um, Montreal got rid of him. They dealt him, I think. So, yeah, never played an actual game with the Expos, but he still got a card in, in the 2002 top set, so... Yeah, and it's probably one of my favorite Jose Canseco cards. So there you go, folks. You got Jose Canseco. You got Garbage Pail Kids. You got Tim Hortons. Recap everything in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumbs down. And most importantly, folks, before leaving, make sure to like, comment, click that big old subscribe button, and as well, Click that notification bell to be notified when my videos go live. And, um, yeah, that's, that's about it. So, till next time, folks, which will probably be me coming to you from Toronto, probably a hotel room in Toronto, I say keep collecting what you enjoy collecting, and I'll see you all in the next one. Laters.